How much money do you reckon we made? What is it? How much? I'm now a scrap metal merchant king. So it might be about two years late, or maybe a year late, but I'm finally getting around to get rid of all this scrap metal. I had no idea what it's worth. I've got all the lead off the roof and other bits of flashing which have come off. Um, I think it's about a pound a kilo. Lewis was saying when he did the lead work, there might be 70 kilo there, maybe 60. And then a bunch of copper pipes, which are all left over from the biomass boiler. I'm expecting just into triple figures. I might be entirely wrong. But either way, it's good to get it out of here and recycled. Oh, well, this looks scrappy. No idea where we're going. Maybe we have to wait out here. It did feel pretty heavy on the way around the roundabouts on the back end, so maybe there's more of a lump back there than I thought. Definitely feels like I'm going into a criminal drama scene here. Man crushed alive because he went down the wrong lane at the scrap merchants. Well, I'm not sure what just happened, but it's all on the scales. Well, I've got the total and a true X Factor style. I will wait. That's mainly because I look like a lunatic walking through a scrap metal merchant's yard talking to my phone. So the results are in. Copper. There was 28 kilos of copper. And the lead came to 0.14 of a tonne. 140 kilo. No wonder the boot felt quite heavy. Oh. How much money do you reckon we made? What was it? How much? I'm now a scrap metal merchant king. Come on, guess. It was like three buckets of lead and a bunch of copper pipes. 40 pounds? Think higher. 80 pounds? Higher. 150 pounds? Higher. 180 pounds? Higher. 200 pounds? Higher. No. Yeah, higher. What were you doing? Giving him a kidney as well? 250? <laughs> higher. 310? 302. Super scrimpers. You please? That's what they'll call us. Yeah? Look. Oh. Do you know what this means? Hey. Tool money. Craft and fabric money. Hey, exactly. you got, what did you get from the roof? From all those slates? I got That's part of this video, so I just spoiled it. We'll move on to that now. Now at the same time as all that lead coming off the roof, of course, this time last year, I was stripping all of the slates off as well. These Welsh slates are perfect for repairing smaller roofs or in situations where reclaimed slates need to be used. There was never gonna be enough to use on our roof. So therefore we approached the reclamation yard to see what they would buy off us, as well as making all those chalkboards last Christmas. Now we got down to about 900 um, of the slates that were nice and sound, all the, any that were cracked or whatever, we rejected them ourselves. And then the reclamation yard sent around their guy to grade through them. We ended up with about 600, which we sold onto them, they collected them. Now, rather than them pay us with a £1.50 per slate or whatever it was, we spotted a nice gem of a dresser and we did a bit of a deal with them and this is what we came up with. Now, of course, being the stubborn DIYer, I didn't want to wait a week for them to drop it off, so I said to Joe that I would go and pick it up in the camper van. It took two journeys. It's not a flat pack IKEA piece of furniture. This is a chunky, weighty piece of kit, so it took a fair bit of uh, work to get it around and into the studio. But once it was in place, we then had a good look over it and realized there was gonna be a little bit of restoration work to get done. This is the beast. What I'm gonna do before the top goes on, I'm gonna go pick that up in a minute, but the top, although it's nice to keep a bit of character, we're not gonna to touch the drawers. The top here is just really patchy where there's some water stains. The wax isn't as kind of even as it should have been. 
and I think we're just going to tidy this up. So I'm going to strip this back and then we'll just find some antique pine coloured wax and hopefully we can tie it in. Have that for some restoration, couple. Oh, who am I? Oh wait, I'm here. I'm the one cleaning the windows in the background. She's alive. Uh, why is it called the restoration couple when you're a loner? <laughs> Well, we're a couple of months on now, and as you can probably imagine, it didn't take long to fill it up full of storage. And in the next video, we'll be looking at the garage conversion and Joe's kind of little studio tour, and we'll go into things in a little bit more detail then. So there we have it, our old failing roof has earned us over a thousand pounds which of course can go straight back towards funding the roof or in this case a bit of bartering and we ended up with some furniture as well as some cash. It's always worth taking a little bit more care when you're doing any sort of demolition work or taking stuff apart because you never know what you might be able to salvage from it. It'd be great to hear what other people have managed to salvage and sell from other demolitions. Of course it's all about trying to reuse what's here but sometimes when you are needing to find a new home for that. There's a huge market for reclaimed materials and you only need to look at the sort of reclamation yards around to know that there is a fair price being demanded for those as well. Joe is in love with a big bit of furniture here in the studio and of course I did end up with a few pennies for some tools for the workshop. That's it, thanks for watching. Remember if you can, do it yourself and we'll see you next time.